You're saying that that gun there is pretty boring now? Because <laughs> you can hit everything at 500 yards. <laughs> So this is the Horus software that you're running on the PDA, and it yep. takes calculations from weather and then the ballistics out of your rifle. Yep, so I have a cracked screen, so it's kind of hard to use the software right now. People should send us money so we can buy more electronics, right? <laughs> this was a free, you know, hand-me-down at a second-hand store type thing. So in here, I originally had 550 plugged in, but I was corrected, so... This was originally like 10 and a half, 10.75, so now this is my new correction. Atmospheric conditions are based on right now. It's 89 degrees out. And we just use the Kestrel weather station to get accurate. Mm -hmm. So you want to use the temperature, barometric pressure, relative humidity. That's the most accurate. But if you don't have that, you just have your altitude and your temperature. That's good to go. So let's, let's see how that goes now with the new... So what we were about, what is that, a 10-inch plate? 12-inch plate? Uh, I think it's a 12-inch. I think it's a 12. So we were probably about 12 inches high before and, yep. what, 6 inches right? <coughs> and you're shooting 5.45 out of this? Oh, no, this is a 5.56. Five, five, okay. This is just a good old Korean 62 grade. That, uh, is that what we just bought from PMC? That 5.5, five, or 8.55? Five, five? Yeah. I'm not going to adjust my hold over, I'm going to hold it over the middle of the plate again. The software is pretty good. At least getting you to getting you in there. So today's the first day out with this guy. Kestrel NV 3500. Here's the one we were playing with before. We're using the ATRAG software. So first thing we're going to do is, last time I entered atmospheric data <coughs> was this morning around 10. And at the time the temperature, barometric pressure and relative humidity were such. So I'm going to update this right now. Barrow's 27.22 uh, according to this really hasn't changed at all. So I'm going to leave that go. It's, a, it's 105 degrees now. So I'm going to change that. What was it when we started? Uh, this morning it was 89. <laughs> wow. But I, it was 97 here. I've been updating it. Oh, okay. So it's 105 now. That's in the shade. Does that matter? <laughs> That's you know a good question. Um, the targets are out there. It's the probably sun. a better measurement in the shade. And I'll see what relative humidity is. The relative humidity isn't available on this smaller right. unit. It's just to notice. Uh, That's wow, it, on that it was closer to 50% this morning and now it's 12.8%. So with the temperature, obviously. So I'm going to put in 13 because it doesn't let you put decimal places for that one. So I rounded it to 13. So that's done. We're shooting at a 200 meter. I shot the Lonnie's XDM 40 at the target that far and I hit it accurately. I hit the silhouette, I hit the figure. Yeah, some entering that range shot. there. I want to watch some people make some bets. Like a XDM 40. I'm switching my gun on my guns 40? list to the one I'm shooting. Joseph's 45, you shoot it, it drop before that piece of grass over there. Hey, Rob, what do you notice about mine? There we go. Uh -huh. Here's mine. How's mine? 
And now uh, I'm going to change, I changed my gun, and now I'm going to change this to, uh, the new range, 560 yards. There really isn't much wind out here. Put the wind direction in there, it's coming at 3 o'clock. I gated it 1 to 2. The direction of fire is 340 degrees. That's where we're pointed right here. So, on my dope, with the 545, I should be coming up 17 MOA. Make sure that's an MOA and not clicks. Yep, that's true MOA. So I should be coming up 17. Yep, I got my zero at 200. Good. So it's telling me I need to come up 17 and 0.7 to the right. You can probably kill it. So this is... uh. 556? Out at 500? Yeah. I got two more boxes. So gonna say, wow. What's up, dude? How's it going? Good. Yeah, we got two more boxes. Are you the one on YouTube all the time? Tell me when. To the right. Okay. Let's get loaded now. Hit. Round in or hot. Okay, here it is. Just to the right. Stay win. Hit. That's gonna take forever to come out. Hit. We'll lead off to about two o'clock. Hit. The one to the left, right? Yeah, the sheep left of the gun. Yep. I don't think you're going to hear it on there, though. Hit. I don't. You don't hear it as much because it's not hanging. You still shooting that sheep? Hit. Have you seen those sheep out there? They're like four inches thick of steel. It actually kind of boring once you hit every time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, let me get that on video. So you're saying that that gun there is pretty boring now? Because <laughs> you can hit everything at 500 yards? I know, I was just about to say that. It's actually more challenging trying to figure out your adjustments and stuff. So if you buy enough tactical gear, you can basically make your guns boring again. <laughs> Sweet. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.